Thanks for watching this video on how to use the query test tool. To begin with, we go to the BMC communities and just do a simple search for query test tool. And that way you can find this utility on your own. So when you open up this knowledge article, there'll be instructions and a file attachment that you can download onto the system that you'll be running the tool from. Typically, the system you're on the tool from will be your AR system server. So we see two versions here. We'll use the newest one, 1.11. Once the file is downloaded, we can extract the contents into a folder of its own. For now, I'm going to use the query test directory right off of the C drive. Now, the first thing we're going to do is modify the properties file. This is where all the configuration is done. So let's open that with a text editor. The file is self-documented, so it's pretty easy to follow your way through. The first question here is, are you going to use a DB connection or an AR server connection? This utility allows you to do two different types of tests. One is to use AR system to perform a SQL statement, or the other is to directly perform the SQL statement using JDBC against the database. So for the first test, we're going to use ARS. And now with ARS, I'm going to need to provide the server name for the AR server. And my server name is RemedyProd1. Next question is the port. Do I need to specify an RPC port to connect to AR server? I don't, so I can set it to zero. The username I'm going to use is demo, and the password in this case is just demo. By default, this utility will perform a SQL statement, execute it five times. And if you'd like to have it execute more than five times, you can set that here. I'm going to leave mine at five. And you can perform any valid SQL query or select statement that you want. By default, it does a simple query because uh, it assumes that you're going to have at least one user in your user form. And user underscore x is the table where the user form stores its data. So the simple query select count from user underscore x should return something. Although it's probably not a large amount of data, it's a fair test to run. I have some options for setting debug info, but I don't need to do that right now. So all I'm going to do is save this file. And then I'm going to open up a command prompt to where I extracted query test. Now all I need to do is run the Java command, java-jar, and provide the name querytest.jar. If I run that, it's going to load in the properties file that I just created, and it's going to perform the test that I configured, which in my case is an AR system test. It's going to do a remedy test. It's going to perform the select statement that I provided, and it's going to execute it five times, and it's going to show me how long it took. And that's one of the key values of this utility is that it can give you timings for performing a select statement. So it can do really two things. One is it can test the connectivity to the database to make sure you have connectivity at all. And then it can perform a select statement to let you know what kind of performance it's getting. So in this example, the test results are positive. I was able to connect and I was able to perform the query five times with pretty good performance results. Now let's run the test again, but use the database connection. Now I might want to do this because if I saw that the results were pretty poor while connecting through the AR system server, it's possible that the problem is with the AR system server or with the network that it's on. And so another test I might want to do is connecting directly to the database. Now this test is going to use a JDBC connection just like AR system does, but it's going to go outside of the AR system and perform a direct JDBC connection to the database. If the performance is relatively similar to what it was with AR system and they're both kind of poor, it might tell you that you have a maybe a network connection or there's something else wrong with the database. But the problem in that case isn't AR system server adding any extra time to the select statement. So first of all, we're going to change the type to DB. And now the server name is going to be the name of the database. So in this case, it's going to be remedy DB. And this will be the port to your database. So I'm using Oracle, so it's 1521. The username is going to be your database user, which in my case is aradmin, and the password is the default, which is ar pound admin pound. I'm going to go ahead and use the same count and the same select statement and the same options here. But now what I'm going to do is go down to the database type, make sure it says Oracle, 
and I'm not using secure connection, so that's false. Now I'll go directly down to the Oracle section of the properties file. And in here, all I really need to do is set up the Oracle service name. And mine is orcl.bmc.com. Now I'm ready to go. I'm just going to save the file. And I can go back to my command prompt and just run the test again. And this time you'll see that it's doing a JDBC test rather than a remedy test. And it's performing the same select statement. And you can see the counts. So again, I was able to connect successfully. And I was able to see pretty good performance. So that's what this utility does. That's how you can use it. And hopefully that you put this in your toolbox and use it periodically as needed. And thanks for watching.